In Rust, one of the biggest causes of frame drops in the game are the garbage collection cycles. This unavoidable and required operation takes place when loading and unloading information and can be especially painful during combat, while using vehicles and when loading in large monuments or bases. However, back in 2019, Facepunch added a garbage collection buffer. This is an amount of allocated memory that Rust can use to delay the garbage collection cycles, with the current default of allocated memory being 256 megabytes in total. This means that by default, if you're in a normal in-game situation, the cycle will be held until you reach a comfortable 50% of this buffer, 128 megabytes. But if you're in an important in-game situation, like a fight or in a vehicle, this buffer will instead delay the cycle until 100% has been reached, or 256 megabytes. This buffer flexibility is logical when as Facepunch claims, this default should be more than enough for most players. However, there is an option to allocate even more memory to this buffer, and as a result, reduce the number of cycles altogether by up to 20 times. This additional feature will mean that those players with more RAM can enjoy even fewer cycles or interruptions by giving Rust's garbage collection algorithm even more chance to choose the most suitable situations to perform these operations. To check what your buffer is currently set to, most likely default, open up F1 console and type gc.buffer. This will be useful for checking that you've correctly increased your buffer allowance later. Now let's look at increasing it. The command I use is gc.buffer2048. This allocated 2GB of memory to the buffer, which means Rust will look to carry out garbage collection cycles when my buffer is between 1 and 2GB of data to deal with. This is 10 times less cycles than default. However, this isn't the maximum amount of RAM that you can allocate. If you have more than 16GB of RAM, you can double this value and set it to the highest value, which is 4096. Now that you know the command, it's worth noting that you will have to run this F1 console command every time that you open the game or start a new session on a server. That's why I have my GC buffer command bound to a key which I press on startup. To bind this, open up console, type bind j gc buffer 2048. Now when you log in, simply press j to allocate this additional memory. You can check it's worked by checking in the console, although you may have to type gc buffer to see the value has been set. I hope you found this quick guide useful and the explanation helps you understand what it is you're actually changing and why the bind is useful. Thanks so much for watching.